Hi, my name is Chris Okersey and I'm with the irrigation information website smartirrigation.com. Today's video is about pop-up spray heads and stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll give you our opinion on the best overall pop-up spray head. Pop-up spray heads come in a variety of sizes and makes but this is the first one they come in. It's a two inch spray. I can't imagine what you would do with something like this because it's too short to pop over your lawn. The only time I've ever had to use one of these is when someone put dirt over top asphalt and expected us to water the area. And there literally wasn't enough space to put in a deeper head. Other than that, don't use them. The tallest pop-up spray heads come in a 12 inch and these are used for uh, flower beds and shrub beds. They are a bit of a pain to install because you, in colder climate regions you have to put the supply into the very bottom of the head so that's quite a bit of digging. People in the warmer regions, lucky, they get to install the water supply into the side so that could save some digging. Now when a 12 inch pop-up isn't enough, in the case of some shrub beds, etc., what is used is called a riser or a long nipple. A riser is the most visible part of an irrigation system. Everyone sees it. So let's keep the aesthetics of your yard good and don't make an ugly contraption by putting a metal stake and tying it with tie wraps to support the riser or keep it from breaking or don't screw a spray head on top of a riser. That's just wrong and a waste of money. We recommend a transparent riser for the best aesthetics like this one. These are available on Amazon and they come in a variety of sizes. They also come in black and they are impact and vandal resistant. They will not fade in the sun over time because they're UV stabilized. Unlike some of the PVC risers that you will find have a chalky appearance or start fading over time. And no, like some people have thought, they won't grow algae. The chalky appearance of a riser, and if you see it in the ground, is basically the plastic is breaking down in the sun and the chemicals are leaching out of it into the soil. Probably not a good thing. Better to use a UV stabilized riser. So this is how you attach a spray nozzle onto a riser. It's called a shrub adapter or a riser adapter. Remember to put a screen on and then you put your nozzles. So these are female threaded nozzles. This one's a Rainbird, Hunter and many other brands will fit on any shrub adapter. One good thing about this riser is actually you can see if your nozzle is getting plugged up. You can also get shrub adapters in a male configuration. So the nozzle, if it's a male threaded nozzle, you can get that to work too. But these are very rare. We have found that the best shrub adapter is the Hunter Pro Spray. Um, I have purchased other ones in the past. I was on a trip in, to California and uh, we installed them and the first winter every one of them broke because it was from a distributor who had made their own custom version and they were a warm climate um, location. All their stores are in a long, warm climate. So not all riser adapters are the same. So this is why this is our choice. I know this is controversial, but we believe in using thread seal tape on PVC to PVC threads. Especially with the Samson riser, because the Samson riser is many times stronger than PVC and it will strip your fittings every time without using a thread seal tape. It also adds flexibility to your fitting and in the future it makes it easier to remove nipples and uh, change things. So the thread seal tape in my opinion is a good thing. We have put links in the description below for those that are having trouble finding the Samson riser and for the Hunter Shrub Adapter as well. The two leading manufacturers of sprays are Rainbird 
they have a good one in the 1800 series and Hunter, which has a Pro Spray series. One thing I like about the Pro Spray, and this is how you set it, you basically install it in the ground and you can turn the turret, it just ratchets in the ground. And it has a very easy on the hand ratcheting system. The Rainbird 1800 is a very long lasting head. It's one of the first sprays out there and I have never seen it go flaky. Any model of these. It's quite hard to ratchet in the ground comparing to the Hunter Pro Spray. It's harder on the hands, which basically means setting the two inch uh, nozzle with your bare hands is a nightmare. One thing I'm disappointed with the 1800s is they've discontinued the three inch pop-up. So basically it goes from two inch to four inch. And that means when you wanted to use the three inch, let's say you're replacing uh, a two inch with something that needs to be a little taller because the ground has risen. Uh, we would actually screw in a three inch and it would work just nice and make a little better head for actually coverage. <laughs> um, now you can't do that. Or if you get a three inch it breaks, what are you going to do? You basically have to dig the whole thing out and uh, put in a deeper, deeper system. Or Ray Hunter still makes a three inch, so that is an option. Rainbird does make a head that is easier on the hands to turn. And that's a consumer level head called the 600 series. But what I found is it's very light duty. You don't want to step on it or put the wheel of a lawn tractor over it for, by any means because it's, in my experience, they just don't last like the 1800 heads. So in my opinion, it's better to go with a professional quality um, parts rather than going to the consumer level uh, all the time.